Hey everybody, my name is Vicki Light and I'm doing this as a pre-recorded video before I go live today and our amazing fall in love with Tupperware party again. And I am going to be showcasing a, a really good soup recipe. How many of you have ever been to Olive Garden? Do y'all love pasta fajol? I know that's one of my favorites. And did you know that I can put it together in about 25 to 30 minutes using our amazing pressure cooker. Now, my pressure cooker has been used and used and used, and so I just wanna let you know when it starts looking like this, it just means it's used, there's nothing wrong with it. But our pressure cooker turns your microwave into a crock pot. Can you believe that? And it's very, very safe. And I'm just gonna quickly show you the safety features, and then I'm gonna put this together. Then when I go live, I'm gonna show you the reveal, and I'm gonna share with you a yummy dessert as well today, okay? But this has this locking handle on it and stuff that locks it in place. And I'll show you that in a minute. First safety feature is our silicone gasket. And as you can see, it has little notches in it. When this is in place, if this ever builds up too much pressure, it will collapse inside of itself. So that's feature number one. Feature number two is it has these amazing little valves on it. Y'all see this one it looks like little fishy lips. And you see this one, see that little bobble head that goes up? This is what is going to allow your pressure release. It's going to allow it from overbuilding pressure. So you may hear it hissing. That's okay. This one is actually, they, and they do come out for cleaning. But this one right here, if it is up, then you don't open. You must wait for it to depressurize because that means your container is under pressure. But I wanted to take this one out specifically to show you because you see how there's a little bobble head and then he's got little feet. So the head at the top, feet at the bottom, head at the top, feet at the bottom. Y'all get that? Because I know you don't cook standing on your head and neither does our pressure cooker. And these just are silicone gaskets and they just kind of seal right back in there. So when this little bobble head guy is up, we do not want to open, okay? So that's one of the safety features to teach you that. The other one is this. This actually has little arrows right here and right here and when you on the handle and when you line them up, it goes on. Then you twist shut. Now inside of here, you'll see there's a little hole. And yes, my cover is an older cover. I apologize for that, but it yours will be real pretty in the colors that match the base. And it's got a little um, silicone gasket here. So that's your final release valve when you open it. But you saw me twist that on. This is not coming off unless you turn it. To ensure that it doesn't come off when you don't want it to, this little handle locks it into place. There is no way I can't even turn it at the moment. So as long as the little bobblehead guy is up, this is not going to come off. It's not going to explode anywhere. Okay, and this is our Tupperware microwave pressure cooker. And you're going to absolutely love this. But what I'm going to do tonight, and I just wanted to show you this real quickly, is how to put this recipe together. And I will post this in the comments for the group. And it's pasta fajol. And it starts out with a pound of lean ground beef. So, and yes, guess what? Everything is going to go in here raw. How about that? Now, I'm just going to take, and I didn't grab a spatula, but that's all right. I'm just going to take and just kind of cut that apart a little bit with my, just kind of stirring that out and breaking it up. Okay. So that's all we're doing is just breaking it up. That's good. Okay. Just in the bottom. Now, the other thing it says to do, anytime you're cooking something, they always tell you to dice and to chop. And normally I would sit here and I would say, okay, let me sit here and I'll, I can use my knife, our Tupperware knife, and I can sit here and I can chop and I could dice and I could make all kinds of pretty for you. But why do we have to do that? Especially when we're wanting to save time for a soup when I can do this, okay? Y'all ready? This is our new Supersonic. Now, for those of you who have this product from our past when it was the Power Chef, we have some amazing new additional features to it. And I will go over those in a moment. But this right here is amazing. This is a blade guard that goes on, and our Supersonic has three super, super fast chopping blades. It also comes with a um, paddle blade so that you can whip in it. And I'll show you that when we make our next um, recipe when I go live. And this little engine goes on this collar. 
Now this little engine does come apart for easy cleaning, so your string will always stay nice and clean. But I'm just gonna show you. This called for some carrots and some celery. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna sit here and dice all of that. Not when I can do this. Are you ready for this? Oh, I need to throw my garlic in there too. And in a second, I'll add the onion. Ready? Well, let's just throw the onion in there because we also need some diced up onion. You ready for this? How fast is that to you make short work? What about your onion so you oh. don't cry? Yeah, if you don't wanna cry, cut away from this root end and leave this part intact. If you have to cut halfway through, do that. But otherwise, when you cut into this, this is where all the sulfur is. And so if you leave that end intact and throw that much away, you're in good shape. But I just want to show you. Now, I have got all that celery, those carrots, three cloves of garlic, and an onion, right? <clears throat> throw it into my supersonic. Let's just check this out. And we want to cut this down so it'll go in our soup. Okay, now that's probably, do you think that's enough? Because you know what? <laughs> I don't want things I can't bite into. I want you to look at what happened to that in just about eight pulls. Now, if you wanna take it down just a couple more because you see a couple of large pieces, give it a shake around. And watch it, one, two, three, done. Now this is all of our vegetables. And I didn't have to do that time lapse thing like we normally do on a, um, I need to grab a spatula, Hold on. don't move the camera. <laughs> on um, videos where they'll sit there and they show you that, then they pause and they chop, 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 dice, dice, dice. Why do I need to do that when it's as easy to do as what we just did? Is that not amazing? Okay, so there's our celery, raw ground beef, all broke up in here, carrots and garlic and celery, okay? Now, the only other thing it tells me that I'm gonna be doing is I need to add into it a can of diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna use our can opener. If you have this can opener, if you don't, I'm just gonna show you how you use it. You open out the legs and this little part right here goes against the edge of the can, this direction, and you squeeze shut. When you can lift up the can, then you know it's gonna cut open. And I turn, turn, turn. Super fast, super easy. This is a very safe can opener. It does not leave any raw edges. When you hear it go click, there's a little beak right here on the end. Set that on with the legs open, squeeze, and voila. We're gonna dump in our tomatoes. You've got this piece, right? Straight over the crack trash. Open the handle and it's gone. Show them how it wasn't sharp. Oh, I'll show you on this one because I'm going to do the same thing with a can of kidney beans and a can of northern beans. And this is so simple. No sharp edges. Nothing sharp. You do not need to drain any of these vegetables because that's what's going to help create your soup base. Okay? and a can of northern beans, all right? So, and I'm just gonna give a stir. Now there is a max fill line in here, and so I'm trying to make sure I stay underneath of my max fill line with all of my liquids, because I want it to build to the right amount of pressure. The pressure cooker will actually build to eight PSI of pressure, and so it cooks very, very fast. When you do that in your microwave, you're adding the benefit of microwave cooking as well as the um, pressure cooking. So that gives you all of those things together, okay? So now let me give this a stir around, okay? Now it said to season with some salt, pepper, and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of vin um, vinegar, which I went ahead and I measured out earlier, and I'm just gonna measure out using my spice shakers. I'm gonna just measure out a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Now I'm pretty full here and I know that this is gonna make an amazing amount with the soup and then it calls for some beef broth. Now it says you can put up to two cups, but you wanna make sure not to go over your fill line. And I think I had a little extra ground beef in there over the one pound. So I'm gonna add one cup of the beef broth 
and just stir. Okay? That's it. Now, I don't need to do another thing to this, except I'm going to put the top on it, turn it, and seal it. Now, I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 25 minutes, and it's going to take about two to four minutes to depressurize after I am done. So, it is about 5.30 now. So, what I'd love to have you do is join me back in this group live. I am going to also be posting a Zoom link so that if you want to join me live and in person so that you can ask me questions and see some other amazing products that we have, you can join me there as well. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing it right here live in our group. And I want you to come back and join me for the reveal and I will share the rest of our amazing products with you. See you soon. Bye.